This is my Seahawk 4 inflatable boat. Today I'll show you how I installed these molded plastic cushion seats on swivel pedestals. I'll show you step by step how I engineered the mounting plate system that makes mounting these seats sturdy and fast. Stick around to the end and we'll take this thing to the lake and see just how well these boat seats work. The first part of today's build was to make these 16 gauge steel 12 by 12 backer plates. Let me show you how I made them. Here I've transferred the hole locations from the seat pedestals onto the steel backer plates. Let's get some holes drilled. With my 5 16 holes drilled in my steel backer plate, I've inserted my inch and a half 5 16 bolts. I'm going to tack weld them to the plate so that I don't have to worry about them falling out. I've welded the bolts, hit them with the grinder, and I gave them the once over with the wire wheel. To turn my seat pedestals into swiveling pedestals, I picked up these swivels from Swivel Ease, and I'm just gonna mount them right on the top. I'm gonna use 5 16 bolts that are 3 quarter inches long, and I'm gonna use nylon nuts to lock them in place. With the swivels mounted to the pedestals, now I'm gonna mount my seats. The seats I have are molded plastic seats with cushions. To get the color I wanted, I had to go to Bass Pro Shop, but they sell these on Amazon. I'll put affiliate links to all the items in today's video in the description down below. With the boat seats mounted to the pedestals, now I'll figure out where I wanna mount them to the floor. For the front seat, I'm pretty happy with being centered on the front piece of floor. For this back seat, I want to have it forward enough to bring some of the weight towards the middle of the boat, but I also want to be able to run the controls. I have my hole locations marked so that I can drill my 5 16 holes and get these mounting plates mounted. To mount the pedestal to the backing plate, I'm using a 5 16 washer and wing nut. Here's a close-up look of the underside of the mounting plate. I also used a wire wheel on these edges because I didn't want anything sharp. I don't want anything poking the boat. I like the distance between the two chairs. I think that's going to work good. I think with the seats down, this will travel pretty good on my little trailer. Let's check the seats out. Oh yeah, that's pretty stable. I can be uh, running the motor back here. I think that's going to work good. Let's try that front seat. If I'm sitting up here, I can can get in my tackle box and then I can be doing some fishing up here let's go take this thing to the lake and try it out this was a great surprise my cup holders came sooner than I thought so I'm gonna be able to add cup holders to the seats before I take this thing to the lake I'm also adding some safety features to be ready for the lake
All right, we're on the water here at the marina and this front seat seems pretty stable. Kind of like it. Let me move around to the back seat. Let me get out here. It's a little breezy today. I'm gonna be fighting the wind. All right. I really like the seat placements on this boat. The front seat, it's got good balance. Back seat uh, is placed just far enough from the motor to where I can still control it. Today we're out here on the water and we're filming a review video for this lithium iron phosphate battery. When I'm finished with this video, I'll put a link to it right here. I'm glad you watched and I hope you'll watch again.